Hey, KU fans, welcome back to KU Sports Extra here at KUSports.com. Do it again. Do it again. I got a bracket in my hand. Ben Smith is looking at the bracket for the very for the first, first time. time. It wasn't on TV earlier or anything. No, it wasn't. It wasn't because it was ridiculous. <laughs> Alphabetical order. I haven't had to worry about the alphabet since kindergarten. Yeah, some good, some good, uh, some good lessons from kindergarten right? kicking in though. As right. We watch this like Remember show. when Ohio State came up and then yep. I went H I J K to know that Oklahoma and Oklahoma State right. were or weren't yeah. coming next. That was exciting. Yeah. Really excited. Yeah, see, good <laughs> stuff. So, anyway, we're here at Allen Fieldhouse. We just got done talking to Bill Self, Devontae Graham, and Svee Mikhailuk, sort of. Uh, bless Svee, man. He's, he's so good so many places, but uh, when he gets up there next to Devontae, it's kind of like yeah. he just waits for the senior to take charge or, or the, the leader. I guess they're both seniors. Uh, so much so that, that Graham has to nudge him like right. this. Answer one, answer yeah. one. It was, it was pretty funny. You can't put two guys from this team up at the podium at the same time and have one of them be Devontae Graham, Graham right. and expect anybody else to have be the one like jumping out in front of questions yeah. and answering. So I'm gonna take this. Yeah, one. right. Yeah, <laughs> none of that. Uh, KU's got a uh, one seed in the Midwest. We learned that just a little bit ago. You guys have probably learned that well before now. And they will take on Penn, the Quakers, 16th seeded Penn from the Ivy League. It's an interesting matchup right away. I mean, one of the things that Penn does well is defend the three-point shot. One of the things that Kansas does well is shoot the three-point shot. Vegas knows that. Vegas has got <laughs> Penn as a 15-and-a-half point underdog that's already dropping. People are already betting on Penn. Uh, you're going to learn a little bit more about Penn and write that in our special section but for Monday. But uh, yeah. what do you know now? Their biggest strength by far is their three-point defense. And some of that you got to think about is the, maybe the, the opponents that they're facing. They, they faced Villanova in the non-conference. That's the best team they faced, and they lost, I think, 90 to 62. Um, a lot of losses that might jump out for KU fans, at least. They lost to Toledo. Right. The Toledo team came here and really struggled against KU. Uh, not, not that those things always no, mean anything. It's notable. But yeah, it gets gets you a little bit of a sense of what you're dealing with. And I, I thought it was funny that you know uh, Bill Self has spent so much time just doing like national media stuff. He hadn't even looked at, at Penn yet. He hadn't had a chance to. And, uh, Matt Galloway actually asked him about three-point defense. Yeah. He's like, well, I'm glad thanks. you brought that I'm up. I'm glad you brought that up because I didn't know that. Yet. He also learned from the media that their game time is at 1 o'clock. Yeah, Scott on Chase. Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Asked him about that. And Behind the camera. Yeah. Uh, give us a nod, Scott. There you go. <laughs> yeah, very good. So, yeah, 1 o'clock Thursday, KU gets Penn. Uh, the 8-9 game after that is Seton Hall and NC State. NC State's really interesting because, obviously, Graham's from Raleigh, knows almost everybody on that team. Has from the mighty ACC. There you go, the mighty ACC. Uh, he's spent a bunch of time back home playing with those guys in the summer and stuff. He said he already got a few texts from those guys hoping to, to lock horns in the second round. And then, you know, after that, it gets interesting. You've got Auburn and Clemson sitting there in that 4-5 slot. Football schools. Yeah, right, right. This is our football guy right here. <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, down below it gets really interesting because you've got the two seed is Duke and the three seed is Michigan State. I think most KU fans that I've seen on Twitter are kind of panicking about that already. Bill Self said it best. If you're lucky yeah. enough, fortunate enough, whatever you want to call it, to get in that Elite Eight game, you're going to play a great team no matter what. And you just figure out how to beat them that game, and if you do, you, you go on to great things. He's absolutely right. Even that VCU team that beat them in the Elite Eight, really good team. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like... Oh, they're an 11 seed? Oh, they're VCU? Okay, it's easy now. It just doesn't happen that way. Oregon was the same way. Right. Villanova. I, I thought it was interesting because last year at this event, I remember really kind of, I guess, getting in tune with the idea that those guys were so motivated by that Villanova loss. It was, it was sort of the theme that dominated this press conference last year. They really wanted to atone for that loss and falling short against Villanova and Louisville. I don't get the sense that I, that Oregon thing is fueling them as much. Graham said, yeah, we think about it. It matters. But... It's not one singular thing, right? You know? it, it, it seems like they're just kind of focused on continuing what they did in Kansas City and trying to play good basketball. Yeah, I would think if if anybody is thinking about that that result last year in Sprint Center against Oregon, it'd be it'd be Graham and Spee. But right. for a lot of the other guys who are in this team on in that rotation, like they weren't really a part right. of that, like like those seniors were. Sure. And, I mean, I, I think that more than anything, like you mentioned, you know. They're actually on kind of an uptick in right. the postseason, so that's what you're going to focus on headed into this weekend. Yeah, it's good stuff. We'll have all kinds of coverage throughout the week, throughout the day, throughout the night. It'll all be at KUSports.com. It is officially go time. Ben's going to have all kinds of stuff about Penn. We've got a special section in Monday's paper. Pick up a copy. Check that out. And we'll talk to you guys again real soon on another KU Sports Extra.